Hello, wingman. Have you ever been mid-race and your USB steering wheel suddenly disconnects? Or been at a critical point of flight and your joystick, throttle, rudder, or all three just disappear, leaving you on a vector for a quick visit to the hangar? Well, in this short video, I'm going to explain the simple things that you can do to stop that ever happening to you again. You see, the problem mostly starts and ends with Windows itself. In Microsoft's determination to make laptop batteries last longer between charging, almost the entire operating system's focus is on turning off devices and peripherals that don't need to be powered at the exact moment in time. Windows really should have a who are you option during setup so that you can choose between coffee shop frequenting tree hugger or power hungry petrol head. However, it simply assumes that we're all destroying the planet one avocado toast at a time while trying to virtue signal to like-minded people by sitting with a single AirPod trying to seem elusive yet exciting while pretending to read a book in Hebrew. I've noticed again on the Reddit cords that a lot of people seem to be having issues with random USB disconnects. So hopefully this video will help, regardless of whether you are a sim pilot, a sim racer or someone sitting around until the world ends or star citizen gets completed, whichever comes sooner. We're doing all we can, but I'm not Jesus Christ. I come to accept that now. However, I'll endeavor to cover the main points. So this is my USB topology. You'll note that I have my VR headset running straight into the motherboard as it is externally powered. The only two items that are taking power from the USB power on the motherboard are the mouse and keyboard. I have a powered USB hub with switches that I can use for music production and audio interfaces. These can be turned on and off at will. When I turn on my Simbit, it is a pair of buttons on an identical powered USB 2 hub which brings a number of USB peripherals online, including most of my HOTAS peripherals along with the 7.1 surround sound system with speakers that is mounted onto my motion rig. I also have an extension to that USB 2 hub that hot plugs based upon which panel I have connected at the time, either a general aviation bracket that homes a Moza AY210 and a Honeycomb Bravo, or an AV8B panel with two wing wing MFDs and a homemade Harrier UFC. Another option is an F16 panel that boasts two Thrustmaster Cougar MFDs, a wing wing IFC and a master arm panel. And I also have an F18 option that boasts three wing wing DDIs, a wing wing UFC, a fuel panel and a master arm panel. In all cases, Every external USB peripheral, with the exception of the mouse and keyboard, does not take power from the motherboard. Now here's a very useful tool called USB Tree View, link in the description below, that permits you to monitor all activity on your computer's USB system. So I'm going to switch on my Simpit via the power buttons on the powered USB hub. You can see everything come alive it's also useful to note how many systems, such as RGB lights inside your PC case and other elements, utilize your USB system. I'm now going to switch on my VR headset, and you can see that come alive too. The issue with the USB disconnects, once you've managed to power all of your USB peripherals correctly, is down to Windows' desperate need to power save. Again, this isn't to save the planet, its sole design is to make laptop batteries last longer. So let's go to control panel. Yes, the old one. Power options. And into your current power plan, which I hope is high performance or ultra performance. Click on change, plan, settings, and then change advanced power settings. Under USB settings, and USB Selective Suspend, ensure that setting is set to disabled. Now, if we right click on the Windows icon, we can go to Device Manager and scroll down to Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Expanding that option, go into every option within the branch 
double clicking on each item in turn to ensure that allow the computer to turn off the device to save power is unchecked. I'd highly recommend that you have all of your peripherals turned on prior to doing this such that they appear in this view. You'll have to go through each one in turn but it should only take you a minute or so to do. Remember to go through every single entry and this way Windows will not feel like it has been given authority to simply decide that your HOTUS has been awake long enough and should be disconnected. Well, that's it. That should fix everything except all of your other life problems. I hope you found these tips useful and until next time, wingman.